I'm Maggie from Maggie's Crochet Needlework and Crafts and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a new skein of yarn. So I have a little sample here. There's several variations of how to do this and I'm going to show you a couple different things that could come up. Um, one is that if it's possible the easiest way is to add uh, the new skein at the um, end of a row. So let's say you were working a double crochet row, then you would just work the last double crochet to the last step, which is the two loops on your hook. And normally you would yarn over and draw through those two loops on your hook. But to add a new skein, you would just yarn over and draw through the, you'd probably be adding the same color, but you would draw through um, a new skein loop so just to show you, I'm going to draw through white. Um, so then you would just draw through this. You would leave this end hanging and then sew that in later. So then you would continue on with the... Um, my yarn is tangled up and I haven't even really done anything yet. So let me move this. Okay, I think I got it now. Okay, so you would um, continue on with the white. And let's say you were working a single crochet row. So you would just single, I mean chain one, turn, single, and then go across like this. So let's say you needed to change uh, yarn on a single crochet um, row. So let's go down here, change back to blue. Okay, my last stitch, normally I would yarn over like this, but I'm at the end of a single crochet row now. It's the same thing, I just work it till there's two loops, the last two loops are on the hook. And if it was like, let's say it was a half double crochet, I would yarn over, I would pull this through, I would yarn over, and normally you would yarn over and pull through all three, but that last step needs to have the new color on it, or the new skein of yarn on it. So for right now I'm going to show you the single, which is like this. And then I would just, let me cut this. Okay, then you'd have a slip knot with the new color, or the new skein. And then you put that on your hook and bring that through. And then just leave that end hanging. And then continue on. So let's say you're doing single crochets again. And you know your yarn is going to run out. Well, let's go back here a little bit. Okay, you know that you're getting down to the end of the yarn. So you could take your new yarn, which let's say it's going to be, um, just so you can see, I'm going to run blue back in there again. Okay, so let's just say that you want to add a second skein, another skein of blue because this one's running out. So I saw this really cool tip. You can just leave an end here and then lay this across the stitches that you're working and then work over that end for several stitches like this. I think it's pretty neat. Okay, so at the point you want to switch over, let's say this one's definitely running out and you've only got about six inches left, you could just drop that and then pick up that new color that you were just working over those stitches and then just continue on with that one. And then this end you just go in and sew in later. I thought that was awesome, that tip. Now another way that I do it is, let's say I'm coming along here and I run out of, I end my yarn ends like right here. So what I do is I make sure that I have about a six inch end here and then I just come in here and I go like this and I just tie, let me make sure you can see that in the camera. I just tie a knot right here close to the stitch, last stitch that I did 
and then I just tie a knot right there because that knot will be so small it won't even show up in there and make sure it's tight and then I leave these two strands to the back side and then I just continue on with the new skein like that so then I go back in and I weave these in the other thing you can do is you could do like this let's say I'm running out of yarn that's my end and let's say this is my new skein here so I'm running out so just the knot would be different you could just take this and hold the two strands together and just make a loop knot with both strands like this and then bring that through just as long as you have long enough ends to put those on a yarn needle and then sew them in so then I'm gonna make sure that's real tight and then I'm gonna work that knot in like let's say this is the wrong side which it is then I'm gonna yarn over and that that knot is going to be hardly visible and a lot of times in the yarn companies uh, in the yarn the yarn companies have knots in it anyway so as long as that's tight it's not going to come out and then once you go back and sew that in it'll be tucked in so there are there I've shown you several ways to add a new um, skein of yarn to your work so I hope this helps and our website is maggiescrochet.com and I hope that you subscribe to our YouTube channel which is uh, Maggie Weldon and once you're subscribed um, you'll get on the, the newsletter feed and they'll tell you whenever we have new videos um, come up. So I want to thank you very much for watching.